We've been winning on so many different fronts this week, it's hard to keep track. Aside from Robert Mueller clearing the president, Michael Avenatti getting arrested, the Pentagon transferring funds to start expanding the wall, the Senate also voted on Alexandria Calfarts cortezs Green New Deal. Let's take a look and see how that turned out. The final vote was 57 no and 43 voting present with literally zero senators voting yes. Literally not a single senator voted for it, not even a Democrat. In fact, three Democrats voted against it and the rest just voted present not saying that they were for or against it. By far the best arguments against the Green New Deal before the votes came from Senator Mike Lee of Utah. I rise today to consider the Green New Deal with the seriousness it deserves. This is of course a picture of former President Ronald Reagan uh, naturally firing a, a machine gun while riding on the back of a dinosaur. You'll notice a couple of important features here. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, the rocket launcher uh, strapped to President Reagan's back. Uh. And then the <laughs> stirring, unmistakable patriotism of the velociraptor uh. holding up a tattered American flag, a symbol of all it means to be an American. Now, critics might quibble <laughs> with this depiction of the climactic battle of the Cold War, because while awesome, in real life, there was no climactic battle. There was no battle with or without velociraptors. The Cold War, as we all know, was won without firing a shot. But that quibble actually serves our purposes here today, Mr. President, because this image has as much to do with overcoming communism in the 20th century as the Green New Deal has to do with overcoming climate change in the 21st. <laughs> oh, it gets even better. He goes on to propose an alternative mode of transportation if we are to ban planes, trains, and automobiles like the Green New Deal calls for. Tauntauns, Mr. President. This is a beloved species of repto mammals native to the ice planet of Hoth. Now, while perhaps not as efficient in some ways uh, as airplanes or as snowmobiles, these hairy bipedal species of space lizards offer their own unique benefits. Well, that might work for those of us who live on the continental United States, Senator, but how are people going to get to and from Hawaii, huh? This is a picture of Aquaman, a superhero from the undersea kingdom of Atlantis, and uh, notably here, a founding member of the Super Friends. He then goes on to show a scene from the movie Sharknado 4 and then argues with a straight face that that is more evidence of why we need to support the Green New Deal. Alexandria Calfarts Cortez didn't find Senator Lee's presentation funny and took to Twitter to complain that he was wasting taxpayers' money by spending his congressional allowance to print up the posters. Wrong again, lady. As a United States taxpayer myself, I'd say that that was money well spent. Here's Democrat Congressman Tom Swasey from New York, who I'd be willing to bet would vote for the Green New Deal, even if it included a provision for Aquaman. Now, the Green New Deal is a very, very ambitious, uh, over-the-top idea to try and solve this problem, but you really need something to shock people out of their torpor to say we have to do something different than what we've been doing. And uh, while some of the the ideas are, are, you know, seem extraordinary, almost a fantasy land. Uh, we need to have that type of aggressive ambition to really address something that's been ignored for much too long. I mean, I remember this issue being talked about in the late 80s, early 90s. It certainly was. And they were saying back then that we only had 10 years to live. And here we are 30 years later, just fine. Calfarts for Brains was not very happy that the vote was a tremendous failure. People are dying. They are dying, and the response across the other side of the aisle is to introduce an amendment five minutes before a hearing and a markup. This is serious. This should not be a partisan issue. This is about our constituents and all of our lives. Iowa, Nebraska, broad swaths, swaths of the Midwest are drowning right now, underwater. Farms, towns that will never be recovered and never come back. This is about our lives. This is about American lives. And it should not be partisan. 
science should not be partisan. This, we are facing a national crisis. I don't know what we're here doing. I don't know what we're here doing. Of course you don't, because you're not even qualified to work at Starbucks. What a week, hey guys, I'm just so tired of winning. I just can't stand it anymore. I've been waiting for months for the right moment to release my new Trump Thug Life t-shirt, and that moment is finally upon us. Order yours from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And like all of my shirts, it is available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So I hope you head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.